For decades, the Cleveland Crunch wowed crowds in Northeast Ohio, bringing titles to a city that had otherwise been void of championships. Now, 15 years after the team's final game, the Crunch is back. Tony DeRay never thought he'd see the day the Crunch returned to Cleveland. I didn't ever really think it was going to come back. But today, more than two decades after he played for one of Northeast Ohio's most iconic franchises, DeRay now coaching the Crunch in its rebirth. I think everybody had in their, in their mind or in their memories of, of all the great times that, that were had for the, the team, the franchise, and the players and fans in the, in the city. I think the city will embrace it again like it did in the past. Few teams in Cleveland were as embraced as the Crunch in the 1990s when Cleveland's indoor soccer team won three championships. DeRay and the Crunch now banking on Northeast Ohio's nostalgia. And I think there's a market for it. I know there's a market for it. This is an opportunity for them to see the top talent in uh, close to home. It's been great, nothing but positive reaction. I mean, you know, we have a lot of the, the Crunch fans from the 90s that, you know, the winning culture still resonates with them and we're just trying to connect with them while we're building new fan base and it's everything just been really positive so far. This iteration no doubt will look different. The household names that made the Crunch what it was during those title years, like Hector Marinero and Otto Orff, aren't there. Fans will have to get to know this new crop, and on day one, the players having to do the same. It's the first training, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to everybody. Um, and then once everything starts clicking, it'll get better and better. But while the names are new, the expectations are just as high as they were more than 20 years ago. I think we're going to be really good. Um, a lot of these guys played with, played with each other in the past. So it, it's just been great to be able to bring everyone together, and I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing. From the top to the bottom, it's been great. And the preseason for the Crunch begins February 27th.